what is up guys floodmine 14 and we're just gonna continue bonus content time didn't mean to do this triple twice but i misclicked ha i've escaped from the bounds of fate i won't i won't let you stop me you foolish fool from achieving my ultimate goal of conquering the planet mind slave i'm pretty sure he never said that in the anime maybe that was a manga line who knows oh. Oh. Let's do it, Merrick. I've taken you down before, Merrick, and I'll do it again. Ah, he gets first turn. We do have Magic Thorn. I do like seeing that, considering all the discard effects. Four traps, not good. Plus, he's probably got a flip monster. How much you wanna bet that's Morphing Jar? Yeah. I could Dark Hole. That seems a little risky. We'll set Black Pendant, and hey, what if it is uh, Morphing Jar? We'll set Dark Hole. Pro gamer move, pro gamer move. And as much as I don't want to, let's just run right into his trap. Giant Red Sea Snake. What? No trap hole? I smell a mirror force or magic cylinder. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Let's take it out of the way now. Ha! I don't think so, foolish fool. Say goodbye to your giant red annoying sea snake. Yeah, I can sense that because, like, dude, why didn't he play Trap Hole or anything? That, that was weird. Another new face down. Okay. I get two new cards. I kind of like Slate Warrior, but... Yeah, we didn't have any spells in the grave, so I'm fine losing Magician of Faith. All right, I know he's not going to discard anything, but let's just play Magic Thorn now. Two new cards. What do we get? Yeah, pretty good. Umi and Seven Colored Fish. I'll take it. All right, let's try this again, Merrick. Seven colored fish in attack mode. All right, let's set Magic Jammer. Mm, now I need a discard for Magic Jammer, so as much as I don't want to, I'll leave Umi in my hand, just in case. Ah, get back card destruction, eh? It's a pretty good combo there, Merrick. Pretty good combo. Hmm. actually gonna go ahead and play Legendary Ocean. I know we're at risk of him playing like Dark Hole or something ridiculous, but... Oh, wait. wait. Oh, Magic Jammer. Oh, nah. It all worked out for you, Merrick. But you do discard a card, and we've got Magic Thorn. So, ha! I planned for that, Merrick. Alright. Unfortunately, the main thing we don't have is protection. You know what? Actually, we do. I'm going to play back it because he does have stuff like Force Raider, which I'm a little afraid of since we only got one monster. So, yeah, we'll, we'll super up with Black Pendant. There we go. I feel better about that. We still haven't taken a hit. We're still at 8,000. That's good. All right. I draw Slate Warrior. Very good. Got to be aware of the jars, though. What if it's Cyber Jar? All right. Seven Colored Fish. Flood his monster out of here. Man, gonna get back card destruction again. This guy's just looping it, man. Looping it, looping it, looping it. Well, 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 looping is in Professor Lupin. Oh my god. Oh my god, a Harry Potter quote. <laughs> oh, that's one for the highlight reel, man. I can't believe I made that quote. Uh, I do love those movies, though. Man, the, all the Harry Potter movies are some solid movies, man. I tell you what. Okay, we'll keep seven colored fish in hand. Now he's starting to get more cards, so. Yeah, just in case he gets uh, Dark Hole, which would be unfortunate. Or Raijiki. Because uh, he hasn't played Raigeki yet. No, he has not. So, Mai did that. Mai did that. That's why I was confused. Alright, seven colored fish. Swamp that monster. Ah! Wait until I got more monsters. I don't think so, foolish fool. Now, it's time for your helping of justice. Wait, what? Wait, wait. Why didn't you do that to my seven colored fish like 15 turns ago, Mary? What? He had rings set the whole time, but he waited for Slate Warrior? That's a head scratcher, like, especially like when he had an open board. Dude, you should have used ring probably. You probably should have used ring like right away, bro. What? Um, let's just attack. Let's just attack. See what happens. Like I don't, I don't get that call at all. Thank God I put black pendant on. 
man, he got two more Raider in a row. I was expecting the flip monsters. That's why I've been cautious to summon, to do extra summon. But uh, I guess I'll go with Jar of Greed. And yeah, like why did he hold back the ring there? Why? That is, because that was his first face down too. Like. I don't get it. Well, you are going to take 500 damage. You know what? Let's draw an extra card with card destruction. Let's draw an extra card. I'll change Jar of Greed. But yeah, like, why did the AI hold back? I, I don't know. I don't know. Oh, he lost Morphing Jar. Very good. Very good. We don't want him to get a new hand. We basically got this one under control, so... Yeah. Unless that trapped something bad. But we already got rid of Mirror Force, right? Uh, let's check the graveyard. We already got rid of... Yeah, I, Bro, I'm not afraid at all. Ha! Somebody call it fish. Attack him directly. All right. And basically we win, guys. Um, I'm going to dark hole my own monster. Go! Dark hole! Ha ha ha! This will wipe out all monsters on the field. You lose, Merrick. You did do some hefty damage with that, uh, that ring of destruction, though. I will give it to him there. You know, he did wait on the, until I had Slate Warrior, which was at 2,400, so, you know, he did inflict some hefty damage trying to help Joey out, but I think we still got this. We got this. Let me go first, Joe. Hey, listen up. Yeah, you better come strong, because it's time to duel. I guess Joey says the same thing every time. Anyway, more bonus content. Here we go, guys. Solemn Wishes. Love to see it. Love to see it. Perfect. Right. Hmm. We got quite a good handful of spells and traps. Hmm. Should I go with Slate Warrior or Morphing Jar? Oh, that was weird. Legendary Ocean had a little bit of black kind of... You know what? We'll go with Jar. That way, with Solemn Wishes, I'll get 500 points right away. Plus, we got Sinister Surfer. Yeah, yeah. Let, let's discard. Let's discard. What you got, Joe? Yeah, I summoned some fire in the dark in attack mode. Ha, this heroic monster is pretty powerful at 2100. Problem is, if he destroys a monster in battle, he loses 200 points. But that's okay with me. Go, some fire in the dark. Heroic impact. Let's see what all you discarded, Joe. Oh, uh, was that Meteor Dragon? Ooh, Graceful Charity. Yeah, I can buy that. Ah, and see, as you see here, he does have a Legendary Fisherman. I'm like 99% sure that wasn't in his deck before. And it, well, if it was, I ain't never seen you summon it, Joey. So, Cyber Jar, nice. Tick back. Sinister Serpent? All right, yeah, so, yeah. Uh, any Meteor Dragon, we have seen. But, yeah, this is what I'm talking about. The upgraded decks. Pretty sure he didn't have that before, Joey, so... Anyway, we'll set Savage out. And let's set three cards. Let's set Call the Haunted. We can get back to Slate Warrior anytime. Let's set Duster seems good. Duster seems good. And I don't even think I need to negate the attack. Yeah, we got Yeah, we got uh, Slate Warrior. Well, just in case we get really bad luck. Let's set uh, Rush Recklessly. Because I, I can always bring back Slate Warrior, no matter what happens with Cyber Jar. And then uh, Rush Recklessly if I just really need to. What do you got, Joey? Yeah, I summon a legendary fisherman in attack mode. Wait, how are you able to do that, Joey? <laughs> Your legendary ocean benefits both people, buddy. So, monsters in my hand are downgraded by one level two. Go, attack a Cyber Jar. Oh no, I forgot about its effect though. I didn't know what it was because it was face down. Jinzo! Pretty sure you didn't have that before. Eh, yeah, Koji Kosi, still here. Alligator Sword, okay. So he's got Jinzo. Wow, you still have Rock o Ogre Grotto? Might need to upgrade his deck one more time before, I'm pretty sure he gets rid of that though at some point, Rock Ogre. We did get Tornado Wall though, which is very good. Means we won't take any damage. However, he does have three tributes for Jinzo. Could be potentially problematic. Depends on what we draw here. Oh, he does still have Swordsman of Landstar. What? Nah, well, I'm pretty sure after you beat him, he gets an upgrade. Okay, so what can we do here? We can go all out, boys. I tell you what. Now I summon Mystic Tomato and attack me. Yeah, during my turn, I'll activate Color of the Hunter. 
this revives a monster that's been deposited into the card graveyard, and I choose Sleet Warrior. <laughs> it's time to start you off with a clean sleep. We, for now, I equip my Sleet Warrior with a black pendant card. <laughs> but that's not all. I'll now play the magic card rush recklessly. This will boost my Slate Warrior by another 700 points. <laughs> now, I guess I'll set Tornado on. I'll set Tornado I mean, a trap guy thinks down that you don't know about. Now, Mystic Tomato, destroy that Rock Uga Grotto and send it to the card green. Ooh, you know, something I probably should have done? I don't know if we're going to win here or not, but something I probably should have done, I should have thrown Tomato into one of these guys, because then I could have searched for Cannon Soldier, uh, and then done Cannon Soldier, you know, Cowboy for game, basically. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure he's still alive. Yeah, I definitely should have uh, been the Cannon Soldier, but not a big deal. He's down to 300. Uh, if we free something up, we can Mystic Space Typhoon, or I can Tribute to uh, activate Black Pendant. We got this, guys. It's basically over. What are you gonna do, Joey? You gonna fusion summon Black Skull Dragon? <laughs> well, what if you did, though? What if you did? I'd be so impressed. But then again, we've got Tornado Wall, so it doesn't really matter. Uh oh, and this looks bad, guys. All right, well, we win, Joey. It's been a fun duel, buddy, but I've got a chit. Now prepare, Joey. I sacrifice two monsters. Slate Warrior, Mystic Tomato, be gone. But now, I'll summon a powerful monster, Barrel Dragon. Uh, chain? Um, no. Yeah, there we go. You win! All right, and we're only at 12 minutes. Good, good. All right. And I got whooped, but I'm not gonna quit as long as I got my future ahead of me. Uh, we'll pick Cypher for Joey. I don't think it really matters. Woo! None of those are good whatsoever. None of them. All right. All right, let's hit the B button this time. There we go. Now we can come here and save. Good mod, oh, 14. There we go. All right, so let me show you guys kind of what I was talking about. So yeah, now Joey's deck should be upgraded as well as regular Merrick's. Uh, so we want my last. I don't think we're gonna, yeah, we're gonna save that for the HDMI. And I'll probably save Ishizu last and Odeon last for the HDMI as well. But in triple 11, there is one new duelist as you can see here, Yami Bakura. Now this triple is, uh, I know like Ishizu and Odeon are repeated uh, pretty, pretty quickly from here, which is, it's kind of a strange decision, honestly, to repeat them uh, so quickly, but if you look carefully here in Triple Eleven, this one honestly is, I find this one much harder than this one, because, uh, yeah, your life points are, we're not going to do this yet, we're probably going to do this after I do uh, another marathon on the HDMI stuff, but uh, yeah, this one's pretty tough because your life points are only 8,000. Ishizu and Odeon, they got, they're they both at four, so combined, that's 8,000. And Yami Bakur's at 6,000. Again, it's not as high as Merrick's 8,000 here. But yeah, Yami Bakur's pretty good as well in this game. So, yeah, some people say Yami Merrick's the toughest. I don't know. I mean, I wouldn't say Yami Bakur's the toughest, but I would say this triple is harder than... Uh, 11 is more difficult than 9, for sure, for sure. Just my opinion. You guys will probably see it. Anyway, so we're at 14 minutes. Very good. All right, and let the bonus content continue. Yeah, from here, uh, like I said, uh, now that we've done all that, from here, I'm basically gonna do against Yami Merrick. And um, I don't know how many episodes I'm gonna do with commentary. Um, but it really doesn't matter. You know, I really, really love the music against them. You, you guys will see. So, I don't know, maybe we'll do just this duel, maybe we'll do a, like, you know, two more episodes, maybe we'll do one more, I don't know. we'll see, we'll see. And the, the commentary will be just kind of relaxed at this point. <laughs> that channel game begins, fool. <laughs> Let's do it, Yanni Merrick. But yeah, I'm actually going to be quiet here for a second at the start of this duel, 
And uh, I just want to let you guys listen to the music on this one. Just just listen. This is this is like, this is what I think of whenever I think of Dawn of Destiny. This is what I think of. Just listen to this music. Listen, listen. It's not over yet. Like this track is probably about like three or four minutes long. Like the music is just fantastic for Yami Mary. And like the very beginning, it almost has like that, you know, kind of a, uh, you know, Egyptian, you know, uh, traveler in a distant land feel. It's just like, oh man, it's so good. It's so good, man. All right. Dun, dun. Dun, dun. Two man eater bug down, huh? All right. Well, let's go with slate. All right. Are you gonna attack, bro? Ooh, he is. Well, guess I should summon that in attack mode. But now your horse raider is at only fourteen hundred, yummy merc. That means my tomato can crash, eh? Alright, set solemn wishes. Mystic tomato attack mode. Ba -da -da. Let's see if this works. Good. Dun -dun 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 -dun. Meow. Oh man, I love that part too. It's just like meow. Alright, Josh, but enough about the music. People want to hear about the gameplay. <laughs> nah, I'm just kidding. No need to be serious at this point. It is what it is. Sit again. Attack him directly. Wah! Wah -ha -ha. Yeah. Take that, Merrick. Gravekeeper servant. Eh, it's kind of annoying. But like I said uh, last episode, though, we run 60 card decks, so no problem. Uh, one monster you might want to watch out for. You may wonder, like, uh, so in the last episode, and I did, I'm pretty sure I didn't cover this at all, but, uh, last episode, you may have been wondering, like, what's up with the infinite cars? It doesn't seem to do anything. Well, um, that's the difference between him and Merrick. I don't think regular Merrick runs infinite cards, and, uh, Yami Merrick, um, actually... It, infinite cards is for his best monster, so usually, like I said, he stalls you out with gravity buying for a while, right? And it ends up with, um, you know, kind of the field being locked down and not many monsters being able to attack. And so what will happen is that eventually Yami Merrick will have a lot of cards in his hand. And yeah, he does have cards that can attack under gravity buying. Like, we haven't seen him play gravity buying yet. But trust me, it is pretty annoying. But, uh, um... But yeah, once he's got the field locked up, uh, his signature monster is actually Muka Muka, believe it or not, Muka Muka. And I've had duels before, you know, where he's played infinite cards and stuff. I've had duels, you know, just kind of on my own before, where he's had like, um, he's had like nine cards in hand, sometimes even like, I think the highest I've ever seen him have in hand is like 12. He had 12 cards in hand on me one time. I was just like, geez, dude, like that is not good, you know? So, yeah. So watch out for that. Don't think like, don't think, you know, if he ever has gravity mind safe on you, uh, that, you know, you're, you're good because no, no, you definitely not. And also like the way, uh, 
Yami Merrick will play his uh, a summon witch. The way Yami Merrick will play his Mocha Mocha is he'll actually set it. He'll he almost always set it, and then if it survives the turn, he'll float summon it. So yeah, yeah, and I've made that mistake like especially as a little kid playing against him. Uh, definitely be careful. Be very, very careful attacking into any of his face down monsters. Now, you know, you've seen how this duel works, you know, so far, because we've dueled him a couple times now. For the most part, it is going to be a flip effect monster, but if he's got like, you know, nine, ten cards in his hand, yeah, it could be a Mooka Mooka, so you might not want to, you know, you might just, you might want to make sure your monster's got plenty of points before you charge in. Uh, yeah, I'm glad I thought of that, because... That is definitely, uh, ah, ha, 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 that you heard me, Yugi. <laughs> New line. But, uh, yeah, I, that is definitely something to watch out for. And I, I'm pretty sure, like I said, I'm pretty sure, uh, regular Merit does not have Mooka Mooka. Well, and if he does, he doesn't have infinite cards, so. Alright, Merit, you down to 850. So let's see here. All I need is one attack with uh, ooh, either my witch or seven color fish. Switch tomato to the fish just in case. Go witch, magic strike. Ah yeah, this is one of his other stall cards, of course. Fairy box. Um, seems like he fails with it a lot, but uh, you can get unlucky. Honestly, you can get unlucky and definitely you'll lose against him. You may have escaped from the darkness this time, Yugi, but you can't avoid the shadows forever. <laughs> if you say so, uh, let's pick uh, Slifer for whatever reason. Drive Greed, Accident. All those are good. All those are pretty good. All cards we've seen before, but uh, yeah. Pretty good. Alright, guys. Well, we are at about 22 minutes here. So, that's going to be it for the this episode with commentary and in the next episode well actually let me think about it I could either do like I could do like a, a few there's a couple different ways I can do this I definitely want to do a few more duels against Yami Merrick with commentary just because I love dueling them that much um I could do it like before or I could do like a bit of a dueling marathon, you know what I mean? I could do like a dueling marathon with HDMI and then cut in, you know, maybe after an hour or so. Or maybe, yeah, I could, I could kind of split up the, uh, the uh, HDMI recordings uh, and uh, do some commentary in between. Well, I'll tell you what, after this episode, we will do at least one more uh, com with commentary against Yavi Merrick, just because I really want to, and I've got the time tonight, so we'll do one more for sure, and um, in between the HDMI recordings, I may do, you know, a few here or there with commentary against Yavi Merrick. So, uh, yeah, that's going to be it, guys, and thanks you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time. <laughs> Have a good day. All right.